When you say we're searching for truth, what does truth mean to you? Do you believe it's an objective thing? No, I don't. I think that that is the biggest thing in life that I have learned that is so hard for me to admit. I think that there is a lot of gray. Life is not black and white. Life is so ever-changing. Life in so many ways was so much easier when I viewed life as black and white, but I just, I don't think it is. I don't think that it is black and white. I think that there is way too many moving parts to life for it to be black and white. I think that it's all gray. So the first kind of question that would come to mind is, what do you mean by life is gray? Yeah, sure. There are things in life that are gray, that are that are muddy, that are unknown or even unknowable. But there are also things that are, are pretty black and white, pretty rigid. I think about the laws of mathematics, the laws of physics, the, the over 100 plus cosmological constants. These things are pretty pretty rigid. So again, what do you mean by, by life is gray? But let me just address the, a couple statements. The statement number one would be truth is not objective or the statement life is gray. These are objective truth claims. They are truth claims about reality. What you are saying when you say truth is not objective or that life is gray, you are saying this is what life is. It seems to be communicating that life is either gray or nothing else, which would be bringing you very close back to a black and white perspective. Now to avoid this problem, the best you could say is, I think life is great, but this would be taken as an article of faith and nothing more. And if somebody who holds to a life is gray perspective or truth is not objective position, the moment they begin to debate me on this, they would immediately be undercutting their position because they would be trying to tell me that my position is wrong and that theirs is right. This is either or thinking, or in other words, black and white. 